So we're getting ready to ride the Nickel Plate Trail, which actually goes through Nobisville and Fishers, but we're starting here at Potter's Bridge Park. There's Potter's Bridge. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take this trail left and connect up to the Nickel Plate Trail here after bit. So what I'll probably do is film a little bit of the trail as we're going through, and then I'll definitely film because there's some twists and some turns and some navigation you have to do in town. I'll film that as it happens. This moment, can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? So here's your first intersection you come to. Left, you've still got some riding area, but that won't actually take you to the Nickel Plate Trail. You're gonna have to go right. And then I'll show you what you do once you get up here. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you. So once you make that right, you'll come up here to the intersection. And right over here is Nobisville Park. Uh, so this is Field Drive and State Road 19. They have a button for you to push right there, but you're actually gonna ride across and go into the park to connect up with the trail. So I'll show you some more here in a minute. Okay, so now that we're in the park, we're going to that trail right there where that guy's walking, but you go down, you come up that road, and then you come onto the trail over there. It's a little confusing, but it's not too bad. So. I'll show you a little bit of that on the way and then more to come at the next intersection. So now we're on that path and we're just going through, I think it's called Falls Park. It's called Falls Park, isn't it? Yeah, Falls Park here in Noblesville. It's actually a really nice park. There's, you might've seen it in the previous clip where I was showing what direction to go, but there's a really nice pool back there. Uh, a lot of places for, um, picnics and cookouts and stuff here. And then up ahead, you'll see they've got quite a bit of stuff for the kids to play on too. So this is leaving Falls Park. Technically, way back there at that intersection where we crossed the road, you could have went straight down that road. However, I wouldn't recommend it because that's 19 and it's pretty busy through there. It's almost better to take this little jaunt up through the park. But you could have went straight, which you'll see here in just a couple of minutes. But this uh, this path is super easy to follow, takes you directly out of the park. Cross, it's clear, sir. All right, more to come. So here we are at the end of the park. This is that road I was telling you, you could have turned on if you wanted to and then connected back over here. But basically it loops around and it takes you over the bridge, which we're gonna do here in just a moment. On your left. Thank you very much. On your left. Thank you, sir. So up and over the bridge we go downtown Novasville right here in front of us. And you can see how busy that road is. It's very narrow. I would only ride down it if it was absolutely necessary. All right, more to come on the next direction switch. So just after you go over the bridge, it looks like you wanna go straight, but you don't. You wanna turn right here, which is this river walk and it's part of the river walk. Yeah. So, more to come down through here. So at the end of that river walk, you come to a T in a cemetery and you're gonna to wanna to take a right. And continue here along the river. Okay, so when you come here, you keep going straight. It says trail closed, but I'm 99% sure you can actually make it through here. Um, 
We're gonna try it. I'll let you know if we have to make some kind of funky detour. But typically when you come to this point after the river, you keep going straight where it says trail closed. So stay tuned. Okay, so it says closed and you can see you've got a couple of different paths to go. You actually go straight and you go under the Pleasant Street Bridge. We're gonna follow this down. I don't know why it says closed, because I mean, there was plenty of people going through there and we made it through just fine. I don't know if it's all this new construction they were doing for the Pleasant Street Bridge or something. Thankfully, I had my wife with me to tell me which direction to go. So we're doing a little jaunt through town. Watch out for cars. So you'll see the path back there and you think that's the way to go, but you're actually going to follow this road. Let me get up here to tell you what the name of this road is. So we turned left and you're going to be on Walnut Street. Yeah, Walnut Street. You're gonna follow this down. I'll show you the rest when we get up here. Okay, so we're coming to the end of Walnut. And we're gonna turn right right here and follow this down. We're gonna go right. We're gonna follow this down a little ways. More to come in a minute. So once you get outside of Novusville, you've got a really long stretch of just this super nice paved area. Uh, houses on one side for the most part down through here. Had some houses uh, sprinkled in on the right, but just a super nice, it's very, very quiet out here. Um, it got a little busy on the trail back in Novusville, but then once you're out here, I mean, we're not really running into anyone. Now granted, it's only like 54 degrees today, so it's not like a hot summer day. So we're coming up to our first uh, major road crossing. And if I remember correctly, yeah, you have to turn here to cross 146th Street at Harriman Boulevard. So you're gonna actually go up because 146th Street, if you're not familiar with the area, is a super, super busy road. But they have a nice pa uh, path here, as you can see. So we're gonna come up and cross at Harriman Boulevard, which I think is this road right here. Yeah. So we'll cut across and then join back up the trail again here in just a minute. All right, so we come up to the next intersection. It's 141st Street. This one you don't have to do a jaunt around as you can see, but it is still a fairly busy road, so you gotta take your time getting across here. Next little intersection is 131st Street. As you can see, they're, they're spaced pretty far apart. Traffic has been pretty good about stopping and stuff for us, which is nice. 
So now we're coming up to 116th Street, uh, Fishers. It's gotten a little busier through here. Still super nice, easy to go around. It's actually really nice the way they set this up because you go under 116th Street, which is a super busy road. But they built this nice underpass right here. Okay, so we've reached the end of the current Nickel Plate Trail. 96th Street is just right up there where you see all of those cars. They have plans in the near future, I think 2025, to connect this and keep it going down through there. But this is the end of the official trail for now. It looks like, I'll have to go explore sometime, it looks like there's more trail up there that may still be gravel. Uh, maybe you can ride a gravel bike through there. I'll do that in another video. Maybe I'll come all the way up here and then keep going across and see. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll throw a little bit more of the trail in there. Oh, sorry, it is, the wife reminded me, it was 11.99 miles from Potter's Bridge to this point right here.